Joining us now on the phone from the floor of the Stock Exchange is Art Cashin. He's a UBS Managing Director. Uh, Art, what is the mood, what is the sentiment where you are? Well, uh, things are turning just a tiny bit calmer. We were down about 1,000 points on the opening. Uh, as we speak right now, we're down uh, just under 800. Um, I think what we may be seeing here is people uh, from Europe and other uh, locales that can't raise money in their markets because they're already down a lot in a week, and uh, they're selling over here to raise what they can. You know, it's an old uh, saying in Wall Street, when you can't sell what you want to sell, you sell whatever you can, including your grandmother's necklace. And I think uh, uh, Grandma may be short of some jewelry right here. Uh, let me ask you this, Art. How does the sentiment right now on this day compare to back in 2008? The biggest drop for the Dow before this was uh, 777 points in September of 2008. What was, what's different now? What's the same now? Well, I think it was uh, uh, a bit more depressing back in September. Lehman had just gone under, and uh, people were uh, uh, wondering, uh, would everything come apart? There's less of that here. Um, I think people uh, have seen a bit of this telegraph. We had a 500-point move down on Friday. Uh, we had a, a sharp move down on the Thursday before. So we see this as... Uh, Things spilling over, uh, China slowing down, putting pressure on everything. Their devaluation uh, sent the currencies of all of the emerging markets, the, the small Asian tigers around them, uh, into near free fall. And all of that tends to spill over. And, and lastly, and perhaps most importantly, uh, in recent weeks we have learned that U.S. mutual funds have the smallest amount of cash that they'd ever have in history. So they were basically fully invested. Now, why is that important? Because if you do develop a sell-off, like we've had over the last week or so, some people decide to redeem their shares and ask for their money back. And if the mutual funds don't have enough cash on hand, then they have to sell some of the stocks they own to pay off those redemptions. And that means this thing begins to feed on itself. And I think that's a good deal of what we're seeing here. Uh, Art, uh, we haven't talked a whole lot about this, but uh, all eyes now on the Fed and Janet Yellen, uh, there was talk that perhaps uh, the next time the Fed met that there was going to be a bump in interest rates. Uh, but now, given what we've seen in China, given what we're seeing today, what are you expecting? Well, I, I've been in the camp all year long that I didn't think they were going to raise rates. Um, they have uh, uh, a great deal of pressure. They have been asked by the uh, IMF and by the World Bank not to raise rates this year because of the destabilized nature of markets around the world. And that's, that's a pretty tough thing to overcome because if they did raise rates and something happened, for example, if they had raised rates and we have a couple of days like this, you, they would have great credit, credibility problems. People say, look, you were warned. Didn't you see this coming? So um, I think certainly September should be off the boards and uh, – I, I even doubt that they'll be able to do it in December. Art, as you know, the question a lot of people, individual investors I'm talking about, are having is how long are they going to have to ride things out? Well, that's always difficult to say. Uh, you know, markets have a life of their own. Uh, and given the fact that we have this uh, potential uh, redemption cycle going on and maybe some margin liquidation going on, it is difficult to tell. I think what the uh, uh, listeners should do is to uh, watch carefully what happens this afternoon. You'll have two things working for you. People will be assessing what the values are here in the market, and at the same time, they will be somewhat concerned about what may happen overnight in China and the other markets. So you'll look at the market itself and see how that balances out. Do they manage to have a bit of an intraday uh, reversal and uh, perhaps close with some strength, not necessarily up on the day, but cut the losses substantially. Our cash and joining us from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, UBS Managing Director, thank you very much for your insight. If you're just joining us, the market down 3.89% as we speak. We've been tracking it all morning. We're going to keep tracking it into the afternoon. Stay with us. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more news. This is CBSN.